Hello everyone. Welcome to CPO 253, which is Process Troubleshooting. So probably now you probably already know how to get around to in DTCC and my DTCC. So we'll just quickly look at it. You generally log in and you'll get this and then you click on your courses and you'll have your home page with all the different courses that you'll have for this semester. Okay, the semester in this window here. And then we'll be talking about troubleshooting. So this is 253, 550 process troubleshooting. So when we click on that, we'll call up the screen right here, the front page. Sorry about that. We'll get to that right there. Okay. So again, this is going to have access for you to uh, attend the Wednesday night Zoom class meetings, recurring meeting that will be happening for the next 15 weeks. Okay. And then any student hours and tutoring if you need that. All right. And then on this side here will be all of the different events or basically assignments that are due, different types of um, projects, I mean different uh, solutions to answers and so on. Is you know We'll post this here, whatever is due assignment wise. And then this is the updates. If I have any changes, you'll see the updates will be posted right there. Okay, so this is your main front screen and um, pretty much we'll be communicating through email. You'll see some of this and if you need to text me, you can also get with me. So we connect here with the content first. We go right there and we'll see the overview. So this is your overview and again you don't see this in the Pulse app version. So if you click on this it'll give you that the Pulse app version but we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to go through here. Now there is one textbook. Please have to have it for the first class. It's very important. It's your student workbook and it's just it's very nice size book and it's the only book that you'll need. Okay. So it gives you an overview of different troubleshooting techniques and procedures and methods to solve a chemical process problem. So when you're working at the plant and you have a problem come up, this is a great resource to help help you understand how to solve it and figure out, you know, you don't want to just solve the immediate problem that's there right now. You want to make sure that you solve the actual source of the problem. Okay, we don't treat the symptoms, but we want to solve it. We'll also um, include application of data collection and analysis, the cause and effect relationships, and reasoning behind that. And we'll also have some laboratory instruction involving troubleshooting problems. And we'll also be doing our computer simulation through Simtronics as well. Okay. So again, instructor information. This is our course. And then when we're attending it, Wednesdays from 5 to 10. Uh, right now, we'll be doing a lot of simulations through remotely through lab stats. And then here's the hours for I for my Zoom meetings for any if you need to have student hours and meet with me. Uh, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays. And then there's a tutoring on Wednesdays. There's also this really nice link to resources for the student. If you click on here, you'll get this screen comes up with all of this information here. And then events. And actually, if you need extra information, more needs, this is a really good website to go to. You also have over here... Uh, the technology resources, different tutorials, okay, what are the minimum technology technology requirements that you need to run this D2L and to access all of your files. And then a virtual support center. So if you need to actually talk with someone um, and you get, you do call them and you're not getting anyone, go here. It works really well and they're very quick about it. If you do need a laptop, this is an act, a form to get to it. And also if you need internet service. Okay, so that's all of those. Okay, so that's the first sections we looked at. The syllabus and the schedule and the policy. Okay, so if we click here, it'll take you right to the syllabus and it describes all the things that we've talked about in the overview here. The grading policy. You will have, okay, let me look at this here. Um, again, the same grade grading breakdown. This A, 90 to 100, and B is 80 to 89, C is 70 to 79, and F is 0 to 69. You will have four tests. Each of them will be 10%. And then you'll have a final exam. Now, test five will include the last chapter. Each of these will cover basically with chapter one and two in the beginning, the intro, and then chapter three, chapter four, chapter five, and then chapter six will be this one plus the final will include a couple extra troubleshooting problems, okay, cumulative. So that's worth 15%. And you have a capstone class project, which is basically doing a bioethanol fuel report, a pro or a con. And we'll go into more detail with that as the classes go along. I do expect to have a rough draft halfway through this. So I really do need you when we'll, our first class, we'll talk about it. And then all your labs will be 25%. We will have an in-class lab with the distillation unit in F-132 in the middle room there. I mean, sorry, F-130. I think it's F-130, the middle room there. Okay. We'll be doing a distillation column lab. Okay. 
let's get back to the schedule. The schedule's here, straightforward, and as I mentioned in um, in previous classes, with this schedule, it pretty much is mapped out in D2L. Okay, so like our first week will be this course overview intro. You will have a react a lab simulation to do. Some of you may be taking 151 at the same time, and I, I don't have a problem if you want to delay a couple of these till you've gotten a little bit of your feet wet. They're not very difficult, but they're a little more advanced than what are in 151, so it might be good to just hold off on that, and we can talk about that later. And then each of these are, you'll see each of the chapters. Most of the chapters are getting done in about two sections, although when we get into distillation, we break that up into a couple different um, sections. Okay, and then you'll see where your tests are. These will be um, open book tests that you'll download in Word. They're going to be a little difficult, so you will definitely need the time to do that. All right, so this is the class project again. It's an ethanol um a, a pro and a con ethanol paper, bioethanol, so whether or not you think it's worth having it, and you know, you'll pick a stance and then you'll define that. And I will go into more detail about that, and there's a description here, and there's the rubric, and then here's some guides as well, okay, and then um, the learning course material, all right, and then each of these are broken down, and you'll see where the tests come in. So it's pretty straightforward. It, um, so I will go over the grading with you really quick just to, again, oh, well, I'm sorry, we already talked about the grading. So again, you just come here to look at your update on your grades, and it's very straightforward. Your labs, the final project, and your tests, okay? No other um, homeworks and so on. All right, so that in that respect, you won't have all of those. So you'll see here just the different things, okay? All right. Um, like I said, you do need to get the textbook, so please get that right away and get to it. Um, go to the bookstore. It's the only place where you'll get it. And it should be bound in this, like a, sp a spiral bound book. Everything's contained within it. So if there's anything else, I'll be around. You can also uh, email me at any time. So welcome, and I'll be meeting you on Wednesday night. Have a great rest of the week.